Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I am back on the timber frame extension build. Um, I'm, in, I'm in early waiting for the guys to come in. So um, while I'm here, I'm just going to quickly go through a couple of things. There's a lot of questions people have asked about this foundation. The particular question that's been asked a lot is why this type of foundation with the beams opposed to your standard trench fill foundation that you've seen us do on most most of the time so um or people ask specifically ask why did you choose to do it this way so the first thing is i don't choose anything i do what's been designed by the architect and structural engineer so this is not something i decided to do we are following the design that's been given to us and this is the design for this particular house now i've mentioned before that this is a timber frame building which means it's considered a lightweight building. So it's lighter than a traditional brick built, block built um, house, obviously. So it's it can get away with a different style of foundation or a less substantial foundation, if that makes sense, which helps to bring down the cost of it. So this is why this style is being used. So I have tried to explain this foundation, but I'll quickly go through it again and I'll try and explain why it's done this way. So just showing you guys the foundation, just to remind you what we did yesterday. So we have three, uh, sorry, six beams here. So we have six beams, nail or beams. Um, here is one of them here. You can see this is the end of it here. And the other end of it goes into the house and sits. It sits on the existing house foundation. There's a bearing of 200 mil, so that means it's 200 mil of this beam is sitting inside the house and a minimum 200 is sitting on this concrete pad which is somewhere around here the edge of the pad that we put in so there's a big massive concrete pad here that we dug out one meter down i think it was something like 1500 wide by 600 this way uh the foundation sitting on the outer edge of the of the uh of the beam and we have a second beam here, or a second pair of beams. You can see it starts right where my finger is there and runs all the way down to here. That's the end of it. And it's sitting on this beam. So there's a beam here. Uh, sorry, there's a, a concrete pad here and there's a concrete pad here. Then we have the third pair, which starts uh, right there where my finger is and runs across and runs into the house again and sits on the foundations of the house um, so now on top of that we built one course of block work and that is our level for dpc which brings us to the height of our floor for the main house so what we do now with this now it, so basically these beams are like large bridges so they're sort of essentially hollow underneath there is soil underneath but they're not being supported in the center um and the weight of the roof uh, the weight of the house sorry the walls the roof etc um are sitting on this beam so it's very similar of using a steel beam uh, across a doorway um, steel beam in a foundation that you can box in with concrete so it's a similar sort of thing there is steel rebars inside these beams as well and they're uh, compressed and very high strength so that's basically why we've done it this way i will try and see if i can show you guys uh, on the drawing the design of this um, and you'll see that we basically copied what's on the drawing So today's job now, we have to remove this manhole. So this manhole cannot be inside the house. Uh, earlier on, we, in, in, we added this inspection chamber. So the pipework runs from this drain here, the neighbors, and it runs underneath the foundation here, and runs over here. Um, and so we put this, this chamber outside of the extension. So we cut into the pipe and we added this. We've also connected the existing toilet toilet pipes here and we have run them. We cut it off here. It used to run across and turn here and run that way and then go to the drain. So what we did is we cut it off here and we've run it straight down into our inspection chamber. So one of the things um, we're going to be trying to do today is to put in a new gully for the kitchen. 
So now that we've got these walls in, we know exactly where the gully is going to be. Uh, we're going to put a gully right here on the corner and then it's going to be uh, connected into one of the inlets of this inspection chamber. There's quite a few spare inlets there. So we'll dig down and, and connect into that. Once that's connected, we can do some temporary drains from the kitchen, which is that black pipe there, into it while we're working. Uh, and then we can condemn this gully here, which you can see is here. So we managed to just, just work around it, break a little bit off and just work around it. Uh, but we're gonna condemn this so we can break it out because we need to we need to remove some of this and bring it lower down some of this some earth um, in preparation for our oversight uh, which is going to be concrete so just to give you an idea of what we're doing for the oversight here as well and this is the structural detail we are going to be taking this down do our typical hardcore compact it put some sand on it and then we are going to put a dpm and we're going to concrete it and then at a later date, once we've knocked through and we're sort of doing internal works, uh, we're going to put down the insulation onto the concrete and then we're going to screed on top of that. So that is the plan. And when we screed, we will use the level of the house to blend into our screed level. So that's basically the plan, yeah. So today I'll be jumping mostly on that. The guys will probably dig that gully out and I can connect that up. And then we're going to start taking some of this out as well. guys so we have managed to take out all the hardcore that was in here 
uh, it was a lot of it. We've got some concrete to break as well. So there's some concrete here, some old patio. I think this is an original concrete area that was here because what was there before was actually bridging the DPC. So this is original stuff here. So we have to now take this concrete out, but we're not gonna do this today. We'll leave this for the next day when we came, come in to do our hardcore and stuff. Uh, we've got a little bit more leveling out to do. But now we're going to uh, put our attention on to this, getting this out, breaking all this concrete out and start breaking these bricks down. So we're going to uh, block the drain up here using our sort of inflatable bung thing, block that up there. And then that will stop any water coming or anything coming down if anyone flushes up there. And then we can work on this. We're going to get it out and then put a new piece of pipe in there. So. That's the next job. One more thing as well I realised, I forgot we hadn't done yet, is we need to put in some vents. Yes, we've got one vent here to vent through, as you can see. We need to extend this vent and we actually need to extend it through through there. And we need to do, there's also one that was hidden under here, which I missed, was one underneath there and one under there under the door. So totally missed those. So we need to, uh, once we've leveled this, we need to drop some pipe down into here i'm gonna have to cut one of these blocks out and put a little lintel and put uh, a vent block through there so that's another thing we've got to do before we're ready to um pour the uh, concrete
right guys so we are done for today so just quick run through what we did namji's just put in this gully here which is connected to the uh, inspecting chamber that's for the kitchen waste so i put a temporary pipe here just real quickly just for the weekend for the guys to use that um because the old gully is now redundant because obviously there's no inspection chamber here or manhole anymore we've put in the pipe here as you can see that runs straight through so that's now redundant so we're just waiting for this to pass and then we can backfill it and then we can backfill all of these ones and then we can put these paving stones back um, so that's pretty much that done obviously we took out a load of hardcore out of here as well that back down to the old concrete patio that used to be here we've got all that hardcore over there which is going to be reused to backfill stuff and also probably can use some of it when we're doing the paving slabs here uh, but we're going to get some new hardcore to put in here and that's pretty much it so we are shooting off we just now wait for inspection which um, i think is going to be tomorrow just waiting for confirmation but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let us know what you think please like comment subscribe to the channel I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.